Welcome to Gamble with Brundle. So one week after starting a new drug, a 16-year-old is brought to the ER because of a painful blistering rash. She has also a history of bipolar disease. And which of the following drugs is most likely responsible for the patient's current condition? And we are given here a couple of options. So there's a new medication that caused a rash and she has a history of bipolar disease. So it would be maybe good to think about drugs used in the treatment of bipolar disease that could cause a rash. And um, there seems to be a pretty severe rash. So let's think about bipolar disease, drugs of choice. So one drug that definitely should come to your mind is lithium. That's actually a first-line drug for bipolar disease. Pretty effective. Then we have anti-seizure medications. We cannot just take any anti-seizure medications for bipolar. There's just three that are approved. That's Lamor, Trigin, Carbamazepin, and Valproic. Valproate or Valproic acid. What else could we use to treat bipolar. You should also think about anti-psychotics. But here we only use second generation, so we cannot use the good old haloperidol. Things like catiapine or aripiprazole or risperidone, um, but not clozapine. So clozapine is always special because it causes a granulocytosis and you need to check your white blood cell count all the time. So that's out. So just second generation antipsychotics, not close up in, couple of anti seizure medications and lithium. So which of those causes a rash? So two should come to your mind. There's lamotrigin. Lamotrigin, the L stands actually for the life threatening rash for lamotrigin. So that can cause a rash. And actually also carbamazepine can cause a rash. So those two would be options. If you look here, we only see lamotrigine, so that's the correct answer here. D, lamotrigine. Let's uh, think quickly about these other drugs, if we can put them in any category and if we recognize them. So etosuximide is also an anti seizure medication, not one that we use for bipolar. It's a very special one. It blocks the T-type calcium channel and it's used for absence seizures. So these are this type of seizures that are experienced mainly in kids where they just stare blank and their pencil let's say falls to the ground for a couple of seconds and then they are back to normal. So these are absence seizures. Um, that's a drug, etosuximide, only used for absence seizures, only blocks calcium T-type channel and for some reason has been found that this calcium T-type channels and absence seizures have more activity. Valproic acid is also an anti-seizure medication, a super broad anti-seizure medication has several mechanisms of action, can be used for a lot of different types of seizures, but is not used for bipolar. And phenytoin is also an anti-seizure medication. And phenytoin is also um, not used for bipolar disease. It increases the inactivation state of the sodium channel, so just decreases fast trains of action potentials.